elusive iron horse is why would you want to write a book about something that never happened? And I had no intentions on writing a book on why the county never had a railroad. But all I had ever heard was that at one time the county voted it down. While it is true that the county did vote down having a railroad, it was only a month later that they voted to approve it. It is surprising how long the county had tried to have a railroad through the area and how many times they had been approached with the idea. At one point, there were two in competition and would have crossed from names like the Cincinnati and Birmingham Railroad Company, the Columbia Short Line Railroad Company, to the Tennessee Central and more. Applications were filed, charters submitted, stakes were surveyed, and even ads published, but none of these endeavors actually made it through the county. In many cases, the funds for the subscriptions could not be raised in this or another county, and if the process fell through in one county, then every other county involved would be affected. I did speak with two men bird hunting in the 80s who had stumbled upon what they described as 100 yards of track in the Bradable Readable area. The area was so overgrown that they had almost missed it. With some assistance, the property owners were located but would not give permission to search the area. I had hoped to photograph and measure the tracks, but this was not to happen. Some of the